Hello everybody, it's Josie here. So, um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all keeping well in this weird time. Um, my video today is, you can tell I've got a different background and I'm also standing up. Uh, I normally sit down, I normally have a bookshelf and there's a reason for that. So, basically I, um, I've been kind of taking some inventory and livestock and realised that I have been hoarding way too much stuff. I just have too much stuff. Um, and I think this whole period of being inside and not going out and not going to shops and not buying things has actually kind of been really good for me um, and has also made me realize that I I just buy too much stuff and some of that stuff is books now obviously I love reading um, I love books but I also tend to purchase a lot of books um, and that's something that I'm going to stop doing and I've actually kind of stopped doing that for probably almost two months now um so i've only bought like the odd book and it's been really nice and been really freeing not to have a lot of physical tbr and then what i did was i looked at my bookshelves and i went i have a lot of books um and do i really need to keep these books why am i keeping all of these books so about a weekend ago i did a massive clear out. Um, all of the, the books that I cleared out are going to be going to my local library, going to be going to uh, local charity shops when they reopen um, so they can be repurposed. But essentially I cut my books that I own down to probably a third and kind of the only books I have left are these ones on the shelves over here behind me. Um, and even those, so what I've done is I've sort of said if I'm going to read a book again I'll keep it. If I think I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to read these books again um, and if I don't, much like clothes, if I don't read these books again in the next six months, um, they are also going to be going. I also thought I would just give you a quick tour of actually what I've got left so you can see the books. So there's some piled up behind there. Um, those are kind of all hardbacks. And then I've got a few, like you can tell, this is still, I mean, this is still a ridiculously large amount of books. I mean, I think, um, but yeah, so these are kind of, so you get some idea of the books that I've got left. I've got Daisy Jones on the side there, um, which I'm definitely gonna read again. Um, and then just some of my all time favorites. Um, there's Just Kids. Yes, I do have two copies of Just Kids because um, that's my favorite book of all time. Um, yeah, and then loads of art books over there because that's something that I really love. Um, kind of witch books, some more art books, um, some more art and photography books. Jessica Woodman is my favourite photographer. Skin, that is really good. I'll do a review on that. I've just read that. Um, you can see my Never Night books, um, some of the sports books. And then this, this is my physical TBR. So let me get that in a shot. That is it. So those books, so you've got... Difficult Woman, Fiona Horn, Marilyn Manson, Diary of Anne Frank, Van Gogh's Ear, Amsterdam Tales, Amsterdam, This Love Will Kill You, The Deep by River Solomon, and Nouveau Fuck. Um, and that is it. And that's my lovely picture of um, Ruby Rose, because I love Ruby Rose. So yeah, so that is my shelf. Um, that is all I have. I am definitely going to try and keep it to a minimal, keep it to that. When something comes in, something else has to go out. Um, yeah, and like I said, we'll see if we can stick to it. Hence, I've also then decided to kind of do other book formats. So um, I'm doing more audio books now. And obviously when the library opens up, I can get more books from the library um, and eBooks and just, just consuming less in general. Um, so on that note, I'm gonna talk about a fantastic eBook uh, that I am currently listening to and it's called Saint X. Uh, I just kind of came across this ebook by accident uh, because like the cover looked kind of cool and it just sounded quite cool. And um, so it's about a family uh, that end up on uh, this island for holiday. It's called St. X. It's a Caribbean island and it's a parents and their two kids. Um, and the one child is younger. I think she's like seven or eight. And the other one is a teenager her late teens and what happens is that Alison the teenage daughter um, is found dead and you kind of get the story at the time and then you jump to her sister as a grown-up uh, kind of reliving and thinking about that and almost unraveling the case of what happened to Alison on Saint X and the people involved and this audiobook's really great because they do have different voice actors as well, which I really like. So you don't have like a woman trying to sound like a 
Caribbean male investigator, you actually have a voice that's appropriate, which I really like. And I'm really enjoying this audiobook, so I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm more than halfway through and I really like it. I'll probably tell you in the end um, if, if I what sort of my star rating is, but at the moment I'm really enjoying it. I'm also going through the Harry Potter books on audiobook. Um, I'm going through Sword in the Stars, which is the Sword in the Stars, something along those lines, uh, which is the follow up to Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta, who I really love. Um, and uh, their audiobook is fantastic as well. And it's full of wonderful queer non binary characters and some great discussions on gender um, and fluidity as well, which I just really appreciate. And it's kind of in a sci fi fantastical setting, so that makes it a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, so, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, more audiobooks. Also, I'm very into fitness, so audiobooks are really good when you're actually working out and you can listen to the book at the same time. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just give you an update. This is probably gonna be my new filming position as well. And sort of, if you're wondering where my bookshelves has gone, that's where they have gone. Um, but yeah, I will, I'll update you if I can kind of keep it up, especially when the, when the stores open again, because it's always really tempting when you go into a bookstore and you see all the shiny new books. But yeah, uh, this is my kind of resolution at the moment is just consume less in general. Um, so fingers crossed I can stick to it. Um, yeah, <laughs> let me know what you're reading. Let me know if you have any good audiobook recommendations. Um, and yeah, I will speak to you all again. Hope you're all safe and well. Uh, thank you for listening and bye-bye.